guys, uh, we just finished a, a session at the BBC for a programme called Reflections at the Key and um, we're going to do a wee gig for you and this is, um, we were asked by Chris Grace and Comrie to put this together because we were meant to have a tour in May and obviously everything got cancelled and um, Chris has asked us to do this and um, she's going to post it up on the Comrie gigs page so thanks very much for um, asking us Chris and um, yeah we'll see how, how, see how we go. <laughs> this, we're in a lovely setting Ross, we're right on the Clyde. Right on the Clyde. You can't you see can't it guys see it, but it's, it's just over there behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we normally start our gigs with a, a set and it's um, a tune called Something for Gordon. It's the first tune and I wrote that with Jarlath Henderson years and years ago and it's from a good friend and teacher Gordon Duncan and then uh, a tune that we play, an Irish tune that also myself and Jarlath play and then finishing with a tune called Fred's Advice that I wrote for the great Highland Piper Fred Morrison. <coughs> Sorry guys. I might have to draw the curtains. <laughs> keep this in the gig. Keep no, we'll keep that. It's fine. We'll keep going. There was a very strange um, <laughs> bicycle that went past there. Right. Jesus. Pursuit of the B part. B part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, four. Do you want to cut off the video? Keep it.
Hello. <coughs> oh man. Well done. Ooh. It's roasting in here. <clears throat> Jesus, that was great. We guys, we're we're sweating from the music. N uh, hopefully not the virus. Touch wood. Um, <laughs> we're maintaining, as you can see, a, a good uh, uh, a, a, he a good healthy distance. And uh, I asked Ross if I could borrow his F whistle after just to have a play, but he, he refused. Of course, <laughs> no whistle swapping was partaken in this gig. Uh, um, what are we going next? Oh, Jesus. Independence. Independence, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So this, um, yeah. <laughs> We're starting with a amazing version of the independence that you that Ross plays, uh, and we we going do we go into a tune? We going to uh, Celtic Thunder. Yeah, yeah. Your tune. Is a session A nine tune. I wrote I wrote for the session A nine. Well, it was it's a long story to that tune. Um, I won't go. <laughs> it's a little bit early in the day to go into the whole thing, but it involved a, a an ex girlfriend in Wales, very much an ex girlfriend. She, goodness, she broke my heart. I get all emotional. I better <laughs> stop. Um, yeah. Oh. Geez. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Man, oh, yes, great times. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, called Celtic Thunder. Yeah. Um, would, you, no, would you like me to do the intro? To, the, to, the, to the independence? Shall please, I? Please, please. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Well. <laughs>
Slotchins. Oh, jeez, that was great. That no, was good. I don't, this is actually, um, I don't know if you don't mind me saying, Ross, but uh, um, maybe, if, I don't know if you get, well, a lot of you will understand this movie. Linda and Kenny might be watching. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time I, we, I've played with anybody. Mm. Uh, you know. For a few it, months? Yeah. Uh, I, I've just, you know, and. Um, so you've been, have you been stuck in Dunning? We've been stuck in Dunning. We've, we've been Dunning. the whole time. <clears throat> like, we literally haven't been anywhere. I mean, we've been, like, you know, up, up the hill. Mm. Uh, but Craig Rossi and that, but we've not, literally not gone anywhere. Not even to Dundee or anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you've been, well, you've been up in... Well, I was lucky time I got a, a, a labouring job up in Barrisdale, which is a kind of really remote um, place, probably one of the most remote places in Scotland, I would say. <clears throat> so I managed to get a labouring job. So I was up for six weeks. So it kind of, uh, it was very good for passing lockdown, you know. But how, is, is and, it, uh, it feels good, though, to, to play, I'd say, to play... Uh, with somebody else, the play, energy you get a great. It sounds great. <laughs> you get a great energy of of a real person. It's incredible. Oh, there's nothing like it. Like I can't play that tune. Um, I tried to play it. Somebody asked me to play it on the Saturday night Kelsey thing. Thunder. Yeah, and and I did and I did play it, but oh, I couldn't really play it because you know you can't. Uh, yeah. You have to have interaction. I know. I know. You can't. It's very difficult. That's why we we were going to do this gig. We were speaking about doing these kind of acapella <laughs> apps and. I just don't think it's the same, is it? It's not the same, Ross. It's not. You can't beat a... Um... So hopefully it's coming across better <laughs> than if it was on one of these apps. But we've not played together for a long time. We've not even... We, we never rehearse anyway, but like... Um, <laughs> sometimes we'd have a good couple of gigs oh, yeah. under our belt, but... We're easing in gently. We'll try a slow tune. We'll try a slow tune, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what about Alistair's? Do Alistair's, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, so yeah. this is a, a great tune. We, we were um, lucky to play with Charlie McKerrin and his uh, band, and um, also with uh, amazing Mark Clement on guitar. Yes. And this is, uh, this is one of my favourites of Charlie's called Alistair's. Great slow tune. It's been recorded by, by a couple of, Tim's recorded it. And uh, uh, Session 9 have recorded it. Kappa Kaylee. Kappa Kaylee as well. Kappa oh yeah, oh yeah. Kappa Kaylee, and um, we re did we record it on Charlie's? No. We. Charlie did a wee EP, but I don't think if, I don't think we did record it. I don't think we did it. It's but a you, beautiful tune. But, um, but you should get that EP off of Charlie. Where would you get it, Tim? It would be on um, you, it would, Charlie's website. Or? Um, do you know, Ross, it would be or on maybe the you can, maybe, industry. Maybe you can yeah. post into... The video yeah. links. You know, you could post if you want one, and we could get and we could uh, yeah. take a list and send to Charlie. Yeah, Charm. absolutely. Yeah, he, I think it might be on his webs on his um, what does he what does he call his label? Raj Raj Records. Raj I think it might be on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, you can write in maybe, and we can sort of. Uh, it's just a five track EP, was it? Five track EP. Yeah, five track recorded track. in Perthshire. In Dunning, where uh, Tim's from. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we need to do a wee shout out to Rob, Robin Evans actually up in Dunning at the um, Patacondi Tea Studios, Pot. Teapot oh, yeah. Studios, amazing place. I did an album there called Remembering, when was that, 2017, I think it was? No, before that, 2015. You were up and there. And Tim's recorded most of his, uh, a few of the, the, the newest albums. Oh yeah, I've done loads up there. And you've, it's a great spot and I hopefully he'll be open again soon with social distancing. Yeah, we could do an album up there. We could do an album up there. That would be big enough for us yeah. to do a socially distance. Uh, actually, that'd be a perfect place to do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it there. We'll do an album after this. So we can maybe, we'll do pre-orders then. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give this two, I'm going to give the 300 pound guitar a run. This is, oh, yeah, this yeah. is brand new, guys. Yeah. I, I love to... Um, I, and please don't be any guitar players watching. Please don't take this the wrong way. I totally, totally respect um, expensive guitars, but I have a, I have a challenge to myself where I buy a, a budget guitar and, and I said I do a little bit of setup. In this case, it didn't need much. It's just the truss rod, a little bit lowering, and it's it's beautiful. It's just a Yamaha folk guitar, and it's it's their entry model. It's like about three hundred and you you pay about three seven five for it. But God, it's a beautiful guitar. It's got a lovely back. Just check out the back there. Jeez. <laughs> What a beautiful bike. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, yeah, so it was a wee, um, yeah. Shall I start? Or shall, Go for it, yeah. Shall I? You play that, I'm going to see if this is still on. We're good? We're, We're good. good.
arrived in the room, so we should put them in. Yeah. We'll try a bit of pipes. Try some pipes, I think that was gorgeous. Uh. Um, that's a great tune. So, um, we'll try clans. Try clans, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this set was on uh, an album called Wide Open. My first album, actually. And uh, it's called Clans. There's three tunes. The first one's a uh, Tommy O'Sullivan tune, um, Irish guitarist, uh, who played with Paddy Keenan. And uh, it's a tune called Jutland. And then uh, following on with two tunes I wrote myself called Nose Fest. And then the last one is called Unite the Clans. <clears throat> This is the first time we went. Oh, sure. <laughs>
trying there to <coughs> remember the chords of a great guitar player from Ireland, uh, based here in Glasgow at the moment, Steve Byrne, who played on the recording of that track, and he plays the drums, he plays everything. And uh, I was trying to, I hope I, if you're watching Steve, I hope I played the right chords there. <laughs> That's great playing you do on that record. Um, oh, Jesus. Do I play some box tunes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Should, should we do the um, Neves Caper? Neves Caper. So, um, oh, those of you watching, uh, uh, there's a wonderful well, banjo one. player. It's on, um, it's on an album called, uh, that I recorded up at, up at Robin Evans in, in Dunning called, uh, it was called Being Myself. Oh, yeah. Um, and, uh, That's new, is it? It is new. It's it's uh, it's last year, but last it is year. yeah, it is new. And um, it's um, done how many albums since? I've done um, five. Oh yeah, I did. I did three since. No, two, uh, two since. I did two lockdowns. <laughs> but they they kind of don't really count. Well, they yeah, they, they do. But this is Neves Capers, and you know Ross, it was written by that wonderful banjo player from Ireland, Jerry O'Connor. Oh, Jerry Banjo O'Connor. Incredible band. He's he's the um, oh, he's, uh, he's the man. He's the man. He is man, and, and he loves Scotland. He's a big connection with Duncan Chisholm and mm. Charlie. I think him and Charlie. He played on uh, Gordon's. Uh, he played on Gordon's yeah, album yeah. as well, yeah. He played on Gordon's album. First, the first version of Press for Time. Did he? Did he play that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's mad. <coughs> what else is he on? There's Gordon and him were. Uh, McFadden, so it was an Irish set of tunes. He was on that as well. Him and Gordon were, were buddies. Because so I remember being at your Gordon's house. Um, we used to listen to that. Um, as, uh, time to album. time. No, no, no. The uh, Myriad. Mir Myriad, Mir yeah. yeah. It's like all the time. Incredible. Album. I used to all when I went up. It was the first thing I always put on. Because he recorded there was one track, you know, the Indian Storm. Yeah. That was recorded, I think, in, in Glasgow. As the, when Gordon was recording just for Seamus. Ah. And Jim Sullivan had the. Uh, they set all these kind of uh, bells on this pool table or something. You know, it starts all these Indian. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's Jim Sullivan. That was Jim because Jim recorded that track. Ah, Indian I didn't Storm, know that. I think it is. Because you, you know, that's a beautiful Bowden. track, yeah. That's Jim Pink Bowden and mm. all these kind of. Uh, I don't know what the bells were. Tibetan bells. Tibetan bells or something. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, so they were recording that as, as when Gordon was recording Just for Sheamus. That's mad. I love that album. I still listen to it now. That's a great record. And Manus Lunny's on that as well, Manus. Uh, there's that live track. Live track, yeah. Um, um, what's it on? Um, no, it's the last track. Taxi, Taxi. Ta uh, that was a good book. Um, <coughs> And then, the, and then we, we, when we go, we go south of Glasgow, then to the home of a great English, well, English Irish accordion player, Luke Daniels. He's in Hamilton now. Mm. He's living in Hamilton, and, and he wrote the last tune and the middle tune. Ross is the one Lunacy used to play the, the mm. Rafflin Ireland. I think it's called Rafflin Ireland. Okay. McGoldrick or Lunacy or yeah, what the the first Lun the yeah the, the original Lunacy. I'll yeah. try and keep up with you. I'll show. I'll just show. But do it's dog. It's dog. Mm. Dog. Dog, um, dog eight, eight dog. Is it D O G? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, and if I make any mistakes in this, Ross, you know it's only because I, I've got this Vaseline on my fingers. You know, in these, in these mad uh, COVID times. Vaseline on your fingers. I, well, do you know what? It's a long story, Ross. But like, I, uh, I, I don't want to. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not too bad. But you know the way we're always rubbing our hands with the gel. Oh yeah. Are you doing the gel? The gel. The, the, every, you know the gel and alcohol gel and. I find I get the dry hands, so I've been going to bed with Vaseline on my fingers, and I tell you, it's incredible. I wake up in the morning, and the only thing is, you don't in the night. You know, you you, you put your hands in in the face, and and you know, yeah, yeah different places, and and, uh, <laughs> and you wake up sometimes with Vaseline. For example, I woke up two nights ago with Vaseline on my nostril, and uh, it was it was a little bit odd, but uh, anyway, sorry, I won't, yeah, well, I'm, uh, this is a child friendly show, and um, we are in the BBC, so we better. Better behave then. Better behave. Good. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. Two. Three. <laughs>
Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's, that I can tell you guys, that's a sign. Uh, you can tell I've been in lockdown because I'm actually out of breath. Please, man. And I do apologize, Ross. I, uh, oh my God. Especially Luke's tune, the last one there, you've kind of, yeah, I'm a little apologies if Luke, if you're watching, I don't mean to, uh, to murder your tune there, but uh, that, I hope I got away with that. That was great playing from Mr. Ainsley there. I, well, Tim oh. has definitely drawn the short straw in this oh, duel. <laughs> I get to <laughs> play with Tim Bakken and he has the unfortunate. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's great. Um, do you want to try another slow one? <laughs> Let's do a slow one, yeah. Do you want to do oh. um, Mel or... or uh, oh yeah, do or Mel, words? yeah. Mel? Yeah. So we'll do yeah, a, this yeah, is a yeah. tune um, that was on the Remembering album that I was telling you about. Recorded at um, Teapot by... Uh, it was actually Andrea and Gobby recorded it, but we were... We, we all... There was nine of us all kind of staying up in Teapot. But this is a tune called um, Lullaby for Mel for a very good friend who sadly passed, passed away far too young, Melanie Caban. And uh, so we'll play this especially for for um, for Pete yeah. and Liz up in Dunkeld. They might be watching. Um, we'll give this a shot. <coughs> so we'll do it in uh, D. D. We'll just... <laughs> safe and in, in Comrie. Guys, okay, so we're just going to leave you in here playing just now, is that alright? Oh, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and when we leave, we're, come we're, in, we're come just... In, come into the gig. Oh, oh yeah, come and see us the gig, yeah. Come the gig. No, don't say hi. Don't say hi. No. 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 <laughs> should we, should we, we don't need to lock up on it, just um... No, I'm going to need to look at it. I'll close the door. Uh, I hope you don't mind, we used, we used to lose on just on the left. Is that allowed? No. Oh! oh. <laughs> I make it, I made him put gel on his whistle. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! You better close curtains for that. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, we're at the BBC! <laughs> Wait, if you see that, I'm going to take that. I'll, I'll take that home. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm really sorry! Listen, I know him at all. He doesn't need to do anything. He's quite used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the door. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Shut the door. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right. Sorry about that, folks. That was one of the, the producers <coughs> here at the BBC. And uh, yes, we, we've had some great fun here this morning. In fact, it's, uh, it's um, yeah, it's been a lovely. Um, if we, we're playing on a record, or on a record, on a TV show called Reflections on the Key, which, which I think uh, they've had a lot of artists on it. Jarla Pendleton was here a week ago, Chris Drever, um, Siobhan Miller, Karen Matheson, mm -hmm. Donald Shaw. Um, Benedict, oh, it's, it's Be good, Benedict, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, he's a great fiddle player. I don't know when it'll be aired. He did a great video, Ross. Did you see the one he no, did with Cormac, that. the Proms? Oh yeah, that was good. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus, he's brilliant. He's a wonderful player. Yeah, yeah. I just I think Greg. Yeah. Greg's been teaching. Greg Lawson has been teaching him. A has he? Has he teaching you? At the RCS, yeah. And and That's Aileen something. taught him as well for the traditional. Uh, yeah, when Is he was true? young. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's a wonderful player. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, I'll do a little intro for you. Go for it, yeah. Shall I? Yeah. Okay, here we go.
tune. And the pipes are lighting this heat. It's very hot here, Ross, in the B in the BC um uh, I think we should try this bash rock. Yeah, let's do a bash rock, yeah, yeah. So this uh, this set uh, was on when did you make your for the daybreak album? It was in two thousand and one. Two thousand and one. So I cause I hadn't met you then, but I remember no. being in the car with Jamie McLean and Bo Jingham going up to Inverness and we were listening to that album. I, I, I love this That track. would have probably been around the time I met Adam Southern. I think, when, when did you meet Charlie and all that? I met Charlie in 1999. Two, no, 2000, yeah. Two, that was around the same time, Bo, yeah. Bo met you. I did, I did. I did meet Bo, yeah. yeah. We had a curry <laughs> in Aviemore, Moore and um, he was living in the manse, I remember. Mm, yeah. Oh my God. There's a great story about that curry, but I might get in trouble if I if I say it. But you, Bo will tell you if you speak to Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him about the, 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 the cockroach. Okay. I think it's closed down now, that curry house. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Other curry houses are available. <laughs> um, what's the tunes in this one? The Custihins. Custihins, here we go. Custihins yeah. is yeah. the first one, and then oh, yeah. a great, one of my, probably my favourite McGoldrick tunes. Yes. Slash yes. Rock. I'd agree with that, yeah. Yeah, it's a beauty. So, um, basically, this is kind of like how it's recorded, because Mike was playing, uh, it's not going to be as good as Mike. Oh, I'll give you, it a shot. You'd um, play it great. We'll try it there. Let's do it, yeah, yeah. The bass rock, isn't it? Yeah, this is, um, this is the great tune. And the bass rock, of course, is, is um, Berwick. The North Berwick. Uh, yeah. I think he wrote it, didn't he write it when he was recording with Kevin Cayley at Callum Malcolm? Oh, yeah, Callum. he's there, he's there, yeah. I think, is Callum he at North Berwick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the story. That's, yeah, the studio was there.
Nice one, Tamidi. <coughs> That's fantastic, Mike. Right. So, um, um, oh, I think Little Bird. Should we do Little Bird? Little yeah. Bird, a couple of sets yeah. going on. Yeah. For, uh, oh, aye. Two more sets. Fantastic, yeah. Should we, should we, should we do a Little Bird? Yeah. So we just, uh, let's do that, let's do that. This is uh, this is great fun, guys. It's it's uh, it's a very wonderful feeling to uh, not only to hang out with Ross but to play music with him as well. And uh, bizarre after you've been sort of um, essentially locked. Well, yeah, not locked up, but uh, kind of locked up <laughs> with the with in the family unit, you know, which of course is wonderful. But it's 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 wonderful to get out and. Um, into the real world has been, again. Has it been good to um, be at home with the kids? It has, you know. Do you know what? It's the longest I've ever been at home, and I think I think Isabel's been enjoying having having a bit more help yeah, around, yeah, you yeah, know. Uh, sure. um, and I, I have, yeah. you, um, have you seen like changes in the in the kids? As I, yes, I have, and I, and I mm. tell you, Ross, it's a funny thing, and I'm sure anybody who's watching who's got kids will understand this uh, as well. But uh, and you'll understand mm -hmm. this, Ross. I know um, Amy is teaching, but it's weird. Uh, I mean, you notice even in two of them. Mm. I mean, we've 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 kept them really busy. We've been gone out like walking, sort of every day. Mm. You know, we re apart from when it's raining. Uh, but we've been up on the woods. We've been on the hills. We've sort of, but we've kind of taken a bit of a different thing. We've we've done the homework for Ava. So are you are you being the teacher? Or is, is Isabel it does it one day, and I do it the next. And, uh, who's and the she, best? Uh, Mum. <laughs> Mum's the best. I'm a fr like always. I, I've been trying to teach Ava guitar. Ooh. And uh, we, she's only seven and a half, but she thinks that folk music, she thinks my music is boring. Quite right. And she says that she wants, that, she, <laughs> she wants me to teach her Ed Sheeran, and I've refused. But I've decided now you can't do that. As my dad said, you can't do that to, <laughs> to your daughter. You've got to teach her what she wants. So I'm actually teaching her the Galway Girl. So she's playing? She's she is. She's oh, only playing about the, four. The, the ten, the, not the ten. On the, the small guitar. Small one, yeah. And she's playing, do you know what? She's playing three or four chords. Right. And, and Isabel's teaching her as well. But, but um, yeah, mum's definitely got a bit more patience. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but you know what? It's, it, the only thing about this COVID, guys, um, it's a terrible thing. Um, Donald, thank you so much for having us. in the middle of filming. Yeah, well, yeah. Come, <laughs> you should come and say hello. Just <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it we, going out live? No. No, this is recording. All right, okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me up with Ross to play. It was so fun. Oh, not at all, not at all. It's great. It's a pleasure. Sorry to make such a fuss about the coronavirus. No, well, I'm just glad you you um, put your fears to one side. I, <laughs> took the risk and feel safe enough. No, I'm hoping good. I don't give it to any of you because I mean, me and you have never been the same route. I oh, know. I think we'd we'd be alright. Uh, I'm going to take that. See that orchid that you've oh, got there? Sorry. Can I take that one? Jeez. Because that's got to go to the orchid hospital to try and get well. No, just the orchid. Oh, yeah. and you can by all means use one of those then. We'll put that one in, yeah. Well, there we go. We're still going to sit. No, I've got a flower on it. Stop. You need to say hi now. Yeah, this is a wonderful producer from, um, from BBC Alba and BBC Scotland. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a few in. Thanks for the last couple of sets. Oh, you will so, go, go. so I think you're fine. I don't think anything will bother you. If they do, just say you're doing a wee rehearsal for reflections, and because you can just leave. You don't need to into the rest of the Okay. Yeah, thanks, thank you very good. much. Thank you. Right. You're you ever so kind. We we oh, we owe you we owe you a drink or a dram. Fair enough. <laughs> Sometime that'd be nice. Thanks. <laughs> Take care. See you later on. Cheers, mate. Um, so the, yeah, this yeah the lockdown, uh, Rossi. It's, it's a, I tell you, it's it, uh, in a in a negative way for kids. You really see the. They're desperate to play with kids, mm. with other kids. You know what I yeah, mean? They're, yeah. they're, and I, you know, I, 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 think we were talking about this earlier. Like, um, and you guys here in, in Comrie will understand this. It's, it's, it's very difficult because I mean, you know, I mean, this is the first interaction I've had. It must anybody. be good having the the countryside because it must be. Yes. If you're in a flat, it must be. A, oh a Jesus! I mean, place. I was just looking across there at the hotel. We've got a big in Glasgow City. Of course, we're surrounded by the big buildings and. I was just thinking, Jesus, I mean, you know, that would be tough, you know. Dunning's a nice place oh to be. Oh, my God, place. Ross, you couldn't pick a better... I mean, mm. and Comrie is the same, isn't it? Comrie is the same. All, all Perthshire is nice. Where you that. grew up, Ross, I mean, it, it, you know, we're very, very lucky, mm. very lucky. Uh, but uh, I've got to... I just take... If you don't mind, Ross, I'll, I promise this won't take a second, but yeah, I'll yeah. tell you a very funny story. The, the first couple of weeks, um, uh, anybody who knows me will know I've, I've, uh, I've had my fair share of, um, of anxiety in the past. And, and, you know, I'll be honest with you, it... it, 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 um, it it go well. You get over it, but you never really fully. Yeah. You know, so it's like a it's like a wound that heals, but the plaster is sort of um, you know, 
um, it plaster comes off sometimes. And when COVID started, um, I just, I became, I was in quite a worry because, you know, I thought, oh my God, you know, you touch something in a shop and oh my God, you might, you might get the COVID disease and mm. ventilators and all this stuff, you know. I really got myself in a bit of a pickle and, uh, and anyway, one day I went to buy to the shop in Dunning to buy my Kit Kat, you know, I get the, the peanut butter one, you know, the peanut oh, butter. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Buster. Right. chocolate one. My record is nine. In a go. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, no, 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 an hour. Oh yeah. An hour. Oh yeah. I could beat that. Oh, I love. Could you beat that? Mm. What the bit you mean? I'm in the normal size. Oh, aye. Chunky. Could you? Chunky. Yeah, yeah. Well, Russ, the peanut butter one is beautiful. We'll have a competition later. I'll give you a little tip. Some, well, you know, sometimes you melt the peanut butter, you know, on the car, on the dashboard, and oh my god, it's beautiful. It's, <laughs> it's heavenly. But anyway, this particular day, I, you know, I got back in the car and I thought I was really in a bit of a state about the COVID, and I thought, no, oh, Jesus, anybody could have touched this peanut butter Kit Kat. Well, didn't I get the alcohol gel out of us and I and I, I did it on the wrapper. I, I alcohol yeah, yeah. gel the wrapper. Anyway, I didn't realise that obviously I'd put a quite a thick layer of gel, it hadn't <coughs> quite dried. Let's just say when I opened that wrapper I my crunchy popped out or my peanut butter <laughs> thing and I got a little bit of alcohol gel in my mouth and let me just tell you, don't try this at home. It was horrible, Ross. It was horrible, is it? Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> Ross, it was like um it was horrible. Not flavoured. Eh? It tastes a bit like Raspberry. vodka. Uh no, 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 it wasn't. It's like there's one over there, and it, it was like, oh, it was most unpleasant. <laughs> and I don't recommend it. So, you know, if you're going to... And bananas, don't do it to bananas. I did that as well. It, yeah, it's just, oh, yeah. I mean, but you know what? Yeah, it's it's um, it's good, but I'll tell you, the chocolate's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Russell. I'll, uh, Have you ever been to the Malig Bakery? Probably. No, I haven't. That's, you need to go there. In Malig. In Malig. Malig. Oh, yeah. Russ Martin. Yeah, right? uh, out, out there, you need to go, if anyone's... Not at the moment, but if you're going past Malaga, you have to go to the bakery. It's Ama- the best. Amazing, yeah. Oh, it's the best. I'm in croissants. Better, like, better, better than Baines. Better than Baines. Better than France. Oh, aye. Be- better than Baines. I don't know what it's Baines. Baines in Perth. <laughs> or you we can't, other brands are available. Um, no, a Malaga bakery. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'll, um, I'll play this so, little bird. Little bird, you know, yeah. This is, uh, here we go. Plays for uh, for Kenny and um, and Linda in comedy. Oh yeah, they always they always say like so play there. I think they play this. Oh here we go. They've been eating well. Have you been seeing the photos of oh. their cooking? Yes, I have. Yeah, yeah. they they have like uh, dinner parties. Like, like full on. Yeah, like proper. Um, we should they should invite us round. Yeah, they should invite us round. Yeah. For a distance <coughs> a distance thing. Yeah, we'll sit in the garden. I've got I've got my gloves here as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's got a whole thing here of um. Be very well prepared. Yeah, put them on and play. Sure. Does it work? I've never tried that. Hey. I could try that. It could be a first. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> um, I don't see why. I would. Give it a try one. I'll, I'll play one. Yeah. We'll do it. This is the first time everyone's ever done this, guys. Um, as far as I know. Um, what, what are you going for the left? I'm going to go for left. Um, I don't. I've never ever done this before. Uh, <laughs> this is. Um, this is the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good safety whistle playing. Is it? Safety first. If you're if the fesh are watching, guys, this is something you could do with your instruments, um, with a mouthpiece. Um, what is? That's absolutely yeah. That's quite good. Okay, here we go.
this is live, guys. Sorry. We're sitting here um, and we can see everything <laughs> going past. Um, and uh, Sorry. there was a bicycle went past. Goodness me. Right. Last, last <laughs> I wonder if I'll, like, we'll try that in the pipes as well. Uh, anyway, we'll finish this uh, with uh, press for time and uh, high drive. It's a good job you're distancing us at the moment. <laughs> Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for to Chris again for yes asking us to do this. And sorry, it's such a shambles. I tell you something, Ross. Uh, <laughs> but it's great fun and it's live. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I really, you really have to think about um, healthcare guys with PPE. This is we've only just had these on for three minutes. Check know, this, this out. Terrible. Jesus, man, I'm sweating. It it's incredible. <laughs> Are you going to keep it on for the last one? I'll try. I'll yeah, try. yeah. I'll just tune it up. <laughs> Add a cover version of Little Red if you need to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well done. <coughs> to media, everyone. <laughs> Mr. Ross Ainsley, guys. That was, that was great. Apologies, Ross, if I'm a little bit um, if I'm a little bit rusty in lockdown, but um, that was that was great fun. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope that was uh, okay, Chris. And uh, we'll see you soon. Ross has a new album coming out in. Oh, um, maybe uh, maybe in August. It's August. called Vanna. So I'm actually mixing at the end of uh, this month, June. So yeah. Should we do an encore or should we do it? That'll do. Yeah, you're done. Thanks, guys.